All right, so this is my latest design release, and it's a lockbox, but it's operated by a combination lock. Well, I don't know if it's a combination lock because it's just one digit, but it goes from 0 to 42, so any digit between 0 and 42 becomes your code, and that's reprogrammable. And then it also requires a special sequence to open the box. So basically, you're not going to get this thing open unless you know the secret method and the code. I've taken the false bottom out just so you can see inside. The false bottom normally would sit in here, like that. And then you can fit in. It's the, it's sized for paper currency. It's pretty good for pens and the like. So I've wanted a pretty fancy pen box. And even smaller, like not the big phones, but smaller phones can fit in it. To operate it, yeah, I'm not going to show you how to operate it. Um, but I'm going to assure you that it's not easy to open. Obviously, for all those who are going to tell me it's plastic, you can smash it open. Of course you can. It's not, that's not the point. It's fun. It's fun, people. It's supposed to be fun. It's 100% uh, snapped together. There's no hardware or fasteners required. I printed, and I recommend printing all the pieces shown in white in PETG. They are essentially springs, so they're going to perform better and be more reliable once this thing's closed up. But everything else can be printed in PLA. I've created a pretty comprehensive PDF instruction booklet that will be included with the download. And uh, it's super important that you align all the gears as I've uh, designated in the documentation at this stage so that it's operational. Once you close this, you're not opening it again if you don't have it all set up right. So pay particular attention to the details there. The false bottom should be also be printed in transparent PETG. You can do it in PLA, but uh, it'll hold up better in PETG if you have to take it in and out because it takes a lot of flexing to get it in. And once it's in, it's really secure and that holds everything down and makes sure that this is going to operate and that whatever you put in the box isn't going to interfere with the gears in the box.